Joining me now is Jean-Claude Trichet, the former ECB president. It's a pleasure to have you on, Mr. Trichet. It's a pleasure. Mr. Trichet, we see in the US the Fed is uh, about to raise interest rates. The ECB is talking about more actions. Where does this like struggle come from and the differences between the central banks in the world? There is, uh, of course, different situation, different cycles, different uh, uh, experience uh, over the last period of time. The U.S. had a dramatic financial crisis. We had a dramatic financial crisis and a sovereign risk uh, crisis. Uh, we are not in the same situation. So it's absolutely normal that the various central banks of the advanced economy take their own decision as a function of their own situation. And uh, I have to say that uh, from that standpoint, what counts is their uh, own objectives, their uh, principle, the principle they are following. And I'm very heartening, heartened by the fact that uh, now in all central banks of the advanced economy, you have the same definition of price stability, which is uh, 2% or very close to 2% as in our case, when it was not the case before the crisis. So as a function of the crisis, as a consequence of the crisis, I take it that all central banks had decided to be closer uh, in this very, very important dimension, which is their definition of price stability. And uh, that is, uh, you know, something which is fundamental. Now, they take their monetary policy decisions on both sides of the Atlantic and also in Japan, also in the UK, uh, in terms of attaining their own goal, taking into account their own situation. So from your knowledge all over the years and decades, do you think it's right to have more action right now f taking from the ECB? We will see what the ECB does. Uh, there has been a lot of uh, communication before the decision. I don't want to substitute myself in any respect to the governing council of the ECB. And again, uh, I have full confidence in uh, my fellow uh, uh, governors and members of the executive board to take the right decision uh, when time comes, namely in the next meeting of the ECB. To like handle difficult situations in the European Union, would it be good to have like a Euro finance minister? Well, I am convinced that we have to reinforce the institution in Europe and in particular to reinforce both in the EU area, the executive branch, if I may, and the legislative branch. As far as the executive branch is concerned, I already made in 2011 in Aachen, when I had the Karl uh, der Grosse uh, Prize, I uh, decided uh, to communicate that a Minister of Finance and a Minister of Finance of the Euro area would be probably necessary. Uh, as regards the legislative uh, part of the I would say, new institution. I really trust that uh, when you have very, very important and challenged decision to take in applying the governance, the fiscal, the economic, uh, when time comes, the financial governance of the uh, euro area, when you have, again, very big challenges or disagreement between one particular country and the institution, council and council, I think that uh, the last word could be given to the European Parliament in the format of the Euro area. It seems to me that it is a, a good way to be unchallengeable in terms of democratic accountability, a good way also to respect the principle of, uh, uh, I would say, not taking decision in the place of a particular nation, only in exceptional case, we call that subsidiarity, and we would respect the principle of subsidiarity and we would avoid the uh, succession of happenings at the level of heads and state, uh, of state and government which we have witnessed in the past and are not necessarily appropriate, in my opinion, in an achieved Euro area. Jean-Claude Trichet, thank you very much for the interview and thank you for watching Wirtschaft TV. Thank you.